Hello, I am going to make a quick video about this Inkbird ITC 308 Wi-Fi temperature controller. I know there's a ton of videos about this device on YouTube, um, but I could not find any information about the heating differential and cooling differential feature of this controller. And uh, I was kind of frustrated when I was trying to get this to work. Um, in my demo here, you can see I've got the unit and I have a uh, two lamps. Uh, one is connected to the cooling circuit and another one to the heating circuit. And I've got these little plastic color covers here to uh, help us keep those two straight. Um, the controller has two displays here. One is the SV or the set value and PV uh, is present value is what I believe it to be and that is the temperature that we're measuring on this uh, temperature sensor. I can push this button and it gives me the setting for the heating differential and the cooling differential and I both have these set right now for uh, 10 degrees. That's the going to be the meat of this video. But along the way, I'll explain a few other things. A cool feature, obviously, is that this has Wi-Fi, which allows you to monitor and control the device via your phone. And uh, I'll walk through that setup really quick. Uh, you will need to make sure that this is a blinking quickly. Right now, this is a slow blink. You'll also need to get the Inkbird app uh, loaded on your phone. So I'm gonna press and hold this button here until we get a fast blink. There we go, it's fast blinking. I'm gonna come into my phone, add device. Now, since I've already connected to this, it's already found it. Um, this usually can take a few seconds. I'm gonna hit add note that this only works with 2.4 gigahertz networks. I'm going to select my Wi-Fi network. I've already got the password in there because it's done this before. And now it's going to work on pairing the two. I've had this take up to half a minute before. Okay, pairing successful. And now I've got the uh, additional controller sitting here. Our current reading is roughly 73 degrees and our set value is 70 degrees. I can manually adjust the set points by pressing and holding this for three seconds. Here's our set point. I can adjust that up or down. Here's our heating differential. I'm gonna keep that at 10. Here's our cooling differential. I'm also gonna keep that at 10 right now. Press and hold for three seconds to exit. It is initially uh, going to try to cool down to this 70 degrees. I'm gonna put this probe in some ice water just to help it get there real fast. Okay, it turned off. And I'm gonna apply some heat with my fingers here to try to keep this in that 10 degree window. Uh, as long as we now stay between 80 degrees and 60 degrees, our cooling and heating will not energize. But what happens when we exceed one of those set points? Initially, I thought that if we got up to 80 degrees, it would turn on the cooling, and when it got back to 80 degrees, it would the cooling would turn off. But that's not what it does. It will go all the way back down to 70, and I'll show that in a graph, and I'll demonstrate that right now. So I'm gonna put this probe in some hot water. It's gonna go up to 80 degrees. The cooling is turned on and the cooling will not turn off when it hits 
80 degrees. So I just gave it a quick, see it's still on and it's not going to turn off until it gets down to 70. So that was the behavior that seemed odd to me initially and we'll do that same thing for when it gets cold. Oops, I'm going to put it in the cold. It's going to drop down to that past 60 degrees. So the heating's going to turn on. But the heating will not turn off at 60, 60 degrees. It will turn off when it gets to 70. So I'll speed that up just a little bit by just a quick dunk into the hot water. We pass the 60 and this won't turn off until it gets to 70 degrees. Okay, that's the behavior that seemed odd to me initially. Um, I was actually trying to use this for like two set points where I want the heating to occur at 80 degrees and turn off at 80 degrees and set a window and a sim similar thing with the cold. Uh, that won't work here. So in this scenario, I have the set point at 70 degrees and I have the cooling differential at 10 and the heating differential set at five. And I'm the red is showing where the heater will turn on and green is where the cooling will turn on. And the, this is a representation of the temperature swings. When I, this temperature hits 80 degrees, the cooling turns on and it will keep the cooling on until it hits the set point. When we are cooling down even further, we can see that the differential here is five degrees. And so the heater turns on at 65, but will not turn off until it hits 70. So um, that's interesting to me. And here I've reversed the heating and the cooling differentials. And you can see here that the uh, cooling will turn on at 75, but not turn off till 70. The graph is a little different. And if we have the cooling differential and the heating differential set at the same temperature, we will end up with this type of graph. And that's primarily what I wanted to show in this video. We'll do a, another quick demonstration of this. We're in the band of the plus and minus 10 degrees with our heating differential set at 10 and nothing is on. I'm going to cool. And our temperature will start dropping. Heating is turned on. And as we warm back up, we just pass the 60 and the heating will not turn off until we hit 70. There we go. And I'll do that for the heat. We'll hit 80 degrees, cooling turns on, and as we cool back down, uh, it will have to hit 70 degrees, not the 80, until the cooling turns off. There we go. I hope this video has helped. Uh, it took me a while to figure out and get that straight in my brain of how this thing actually works. In my application, I want actually two set points. And so I will probably need to get another one of these so I can have one set up for say maybe 50 degrees and another one set up for 80 degrees and then I'll have cooling on one unit and heating on the next unit. Anyways, I hope this has been helpful and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.